Hello friends and welcome to my final Accelerated Japanese Learning Challenge review video. Uh, we're in a small town, a small-ish, called Iwakuni near Hiroshima and uh, I just wanted to briefly talk about the um, expectations I set for the challenge and I guess the failure, as I could call it in quotes. Uh, so basically I kind of challenged myself to make this like an epic challenge and I really wanted to put about 20 to 30 hours of study uh, into Japanese before we got to Japan. Now, going off of Toggle, which is a time tracking app I used, I only put in about seven hours, actually. And this is a result of the amount of things I had to do and the underestimations I made uh, in planning things. So I only got less than a third of the actual studying that I wanted to do done. But uh, on the bright side, I actually studied Japanese and I actually was able to relearn a lot of what I'd forgotten. And actually going through this trip, we've been here for, what, 10 days now, Anna, right? I think. Um, I've been able to speak more Japanese and understand more Japanese than I ever have before. So, I guess the um, result in my mind of this challenge is that even though I failed my own expectations, the act of setting a big challenge for myself actually spurred me to take action that I wasn't taking before. And when I get back from Japan, I'm planning on continuing my studies and actually hiring a tutor every single week. So. If you want to do something and you find yourself not doing it, maybe try setting a big challenge. Even if you fail, then you might find that the progress you do make is enough to make a dent in your goals. Oh, and uh, one last thing. There will be no video next week as I will be massively jet lagged and you'd basically probably get a video of me sleeping. So take a breather as I'm going to do and the next week we'll be back to regularly scheduled videos about studying and productivity and all that cool stuff. So see you until then.